everyone and welcome back to another video so guys spring is definitely in the air I'm so ready for the warmer temperatures and just spending more time outdoors but more importantly also getting my home ready for the spring as well so in this video you guys I am going to be doing a hallway makeover and I'm super excited to just be sharing this makeover with you guys. As you guys can see right now, my hallway is pretty much in chaos. There's a lot going on in here. So the goal here is to just basically brighten the space, make it seem more open, more lighter, more brighter, and definitely more inviting. So stay tuned, sit back, and enjoy this video. everyone and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. So in today's video I'm actually going to be doing a hallway makeover. Now my hallway is extremely small but um, what I want to do is actually just open up that space a little in terms of making it seem larger and just kind of brightening the space because the hallway area doesn't have a window or anything and it's pretty dark it's probably one of the darkest spaces in my home and so i definitely want to lighten it but i also want to just give it a nice refresh and just make it more inviting even though it's a hallway okay why can't it be inviting so um one of the things that i'm going to be attempting to do and i say attempting because i've never done it before and quite frankly i'm a little intimidated by it is um i'm going to be skim coating my ceiling i actually the popcorn from the ceiling in my hallway area so at one point you guys I actually considered doing the comfort ceiling in the hallway area as you can see in my living room space so I thought about that but then I've always wanted to try the whole skim coating thing and I figured well if I'm gonna try it then I might as well try it on an area that's extremely small so then that way if I messed up or whatever it's not going to be too tedious and too much of a project to you know redo it because it's such a small space so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video so without further ado you guys let's get started So this is what the ceiling looked like after I scraped all the popcorn from it. So now it's time to prep the ceiling and get it ready for skim coating. So one of the things I definitely want to point out about this project was that it was extremely messy. Um, there was dust and debris everywhere because um, with prepping the ceiling, you had to sand um, the entire ceiling basically to kind of smooth it out. And then afterwards, I actually used this all-purpose joint compound to skim coat the ceiling. And this basically came pre-mixed. Um, I purchased this from Lowe's. I've actually had this bucket now for well over a year so um this is something that i will definitely recommend doing on like a long weekend because just the skim coating itself took at least three days um prep work so once I apply the skim coating, um, I basically let it dry for like three days. Um, and the reason being is because I put it on pretty thick so I wouldn't have to go over it twice. Um, typically they recommend to put the first coat on, wait 24 hours, then put the second coat on. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get this over and done in one shot. So I laid it on pretty heavy and then I waited for like three days um, to give it time to dry before I went back in and just kind of smoothed it out and uh, painted the ceiling. So 
So once you get the hang of it, it actually goes by pretty quickly when you get into a rhythm, but I honestly don't think I'll be skim coating any more ceilings no time soon. Um, this was pretty messy in my opinion. Um, before I skim coat a ceiling, I would rather just cover up the popcorn and be done. So this is what the ceiling looked like after three days when it dried. So of course I had to go back in and sand it and then paint the ceiling as well. If you're looking for an affordable way to upgrade the hardware in your home without spending a lot of money, I highly recommend using spray paint to actually give your hardware a fresh, clean, new look. This only took a few minutes to do. Um, it took about maybe an hour to dry and the prep work uh, was probably a few minutes at most. But this is a great way to actually get that fresh, new looking, expensive hardware and on a budget. So another great way to give your home a fresh clean look is by simply giving the doors and trims a fresh coat of paint. This will make a world of difference in your space. The color paint that I'm using on the wall is called Zurich White by Sharon Williams. This is that same leftover white that I used in my master bathroom makeover. And the trim and doors were actually painted with Chantilly Lace by Sharon Williams as well. Hey guys, so what I'm about to do at the moment is add some decorative trim to the entryway of the hallway. So all, as you can see, all of the doors in the hallway has that beautiful trim um, around the doors. So I'm going to actually do the same thing for the inside of this hallway. So I've already done one side of the hallway with the trim. So I've done this one. And so now I'm about to actually do this side of the hallway. So this is what it looks like currently without that beautiful trim. So we're gonna add that trim and that's basically just gonna give the space a little bit more character and so it'll be consistent with what's going on in the hallway space.
much for tuning in to today's video if you enjoyed this makeover then don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and if you're new to this channel welcome my name is Carolina and it's a pleasure having you guys here and of course to all of my existing subscribers welcome back you guys and I will see you all in my next video